everybody, welcome back. I am heading to the coast, doing a little bit of night fishing. I'm meeting with my friend Eric. It's his first time doing any night fishing. Sort of a middle of the week. We're going to get out there and fish some green lights. Hopefully we catch a fish or two. Just kind of taking it easy. Like I said, it's his first time night fishing. So tomorrow is supposed to be a full moon. So hopefully the fish will be active and hungry. So stay tuned, keep your fingers crossed, wish me luck, hopefully catch me hooking up. Thanks. You can hear them. I don't know if you can hear these, listen to these guys. Can you hear that? That's all the bait. Ooh, that's a nice fish right here. Somebody's eating it right here, bro. Another one right in front of me. Nearly your full moon, there is a ton of shad in the water, just way too much bait. I tossed all kind of lures. We fished this area for about an hour and we weren't able to hook up. But we tried and tried and tried and cast and cast and cast and came up with nothing. Eric cast right here, he cast right on top of me. And I noticed that he didn't realize that he had done so. So I baited him and set the hook real hard so he would think it was a fish. <laughs> and he set the heck out of the hook thinking he had a fish. I couldn't even breathe. I was laughing so hard. I mean, he almost fell out of his kayak setting the hook because he finally had a fish. <laughs> oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh my god, that's so funny. I see your ass at that fucking key sitting. <laughs> Funny dude, oh my god. I can't breathe. Uh you said the shit that hook <laughs> So this video is a little dark. I noticed that every time I had my lights on, the fish would get very skittish and take off. Um I don't know why that is, and it never really happened to me before. But if you're ever fishing the lights, these green lights on bottom, you want to cast on the other side of them and fish the room. Either fish slowly on the bottom with a light jig head or simply with just a hook on the lure. Or you can work it through the different water columns. But take your time. I wouldn't do anything too big. I wouldn't do any too sudden movements. Because a lot of times these fish are very skittish when they're in these green lights. There we go. When you look up, you pull them out as fast as you can. Don't disturb the rest. Oh, that's a good one. It's swimming at me. Feels like a red. Feels like a red. Oh. Small red, juvenile birdie. Yeah. See all those reds in their schooling. So I got this little guy. We'll get him. We'll get him undone. Let him go. Spotlight. Yeah, he's an undersized. He's pretty though. Two, five, five spots on one side. Six spots on the other, something like that. Got him on that backwater predator. You got him on? You got him on? Backwater predator. I just swim it right through.
intro. <sighs> no, it's a baby speck. Speckle trout. He might have been gilled <clears throat> on the outside though. Hopefully he'll be okay. Not a like gill blood. That's another good one. That's funny. That's why I just swim straight down trying to figure out what the heck happened. The, if I hooked the croaker, poor guy. It's not his night. <clears throat> yeah, he got fat hooked. place at the wrong time that's all <clears throat> there it goes What you uh, what you catch? Uh, huh? Slide Did you? How big was it? Huh? Do you keep it? Do you keep it? Yeah, right okay. Just caught a speck out of the same hole. It just came off. He he might be a little short. He might be like maybe 16. Where'd you go, Eric? Come back here. <laughs> I want to see that red. Yeah, this guy's 16. Do you want him? You want this 16-incher? Yeah. Okay. Sixteen-inch guy right here. Yeah, maybe about sixteen and a quarter. Sure, huh? 19? 19. 19, yep. Dang. He little. That's a perfect. He baby. 
perfect eating size if you're in Louisiana. <laughs> everybody so that's gonna do it you had a great time coming out it's always nice on the water at nighttime I mean it really is it's so peaceful so chill I always have a good time out here always a great time fishing with your buddies in this case I was fishing with Eric tonight Eric I know he got I know he was able to hook up to a few dinks he had a nice red that was just a little under 20 inches. I ended up with one nice trout, a little over 16 inches. Had a little, little red on there, a few dinks, but that was it. So that being said, you know, we're right at a full moon, so there was just so much bait in the water, so much activity. We saw a lot of fish in the lights, a lot of small fish, a lot of schooling little dinks. What was the key for me tonight? Well, the key was a smaller profile lure. I was using a crappie grub and I was also using backwater predators grub. Caught a few fish on a mirror lure. Uh, the jig head that I was using was a road runner, small little jig head, small shaft hook, little blade on it offered you know show that little spark that little flare shows that little glitter that little spark that you would see normally in the shad you know just simply trying to match the hatch because there's a lot of shad in the water but like I said had a good time had a great time tonight it's about 1 30 a little after 1 30 in the morning you know if you're interested in night fishing I suggest you go out and explore a little bit you know, there's a public boat, there's a public ramp, so little neighborhoods and stuff where you can go to and fish some of the canals and fish some of the lights, the green lights and the and the flood lights that they're that are shining on the water. So, you know, if that's something you want to try, you know, I, I suggest you go and give it a shot. You know, there's nothing nothing to it. There's really nothing to it at all. You know, and the thing the thing about night fishing to me is beating the heat right now. You know, it's not really as hot as it's gonna be. It's not really as hot as it's going to be it's going to be triple digits but it's still pretty pretty it's still pretty hot and humid so when you come out here at nighttime you don't have that fatigue from the heat so anyway i'm just kind of i think i'm just kind of rambling on right but <laughs> thanks thanks for watching thanks for coming back don't forget to subscribe comment and share until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks